With the new predictive quick insert feature, you can easily access your team's experience building models when you create new models. It provides a list of recommended blocks that you can connect to existing blocks in your model. To use this new feature, start creating a signal line from an existing block. Then, double click on the end of the block to see a list of blocks that you can connect to this port. This list is populated based on a default database that is included in Simulink. Notice in this example that blocks from the hydraulics domain are being shown because the port is a hydraulic conserving port. If you use predictive quick insert on the mechanical port, you'll see that most of the blocks listed are from the mechanical domain. In this way, you can limit your search only to those blocks that can structurally be connected to existing blocks in your model. Let's look at another example. Here I have a model that won't simulate. The error message informs me that the equations are failing to converge, which indicates that the model is not structured correctly. Clicking on one of the links, it looks like the issue is located around the constant volume chamber block. I have a similar model from a colleague that does simulate. So I am going to add that working model to the repository of models that Predictive Quick Insert uses to provide recommended blocks. Now if I try to find other recommended blocks that I could connect to this block, I see the convective heat transfer block right at the top of the list. This block was used in the working model that I just added to the repository. Notice that I do not see the ideal temperature source block in the list. And now the model simulates correctly. So, by using predictive quick insert, you can both speed up model creation by limiting your search to only those blocks that can be connected to existing ports, and you can take advantage of the knowledge contained in the existing working library of models that your organization has in order to reduce model construction errors when creating new models.